What's going on, everybody? It's PH Darren. Got no PhD, depends on who you ask. All right, so today you already clicked on the thumbnail because you wanted to see me talk about whatever it is I'm writing on this thumbnail. But let's go ahead and just show you. This is what I recently just got. You guys know I love this company. So Primary Arms, oh my gosh, the Silver Series. All right, they have different series. This is the uh, one to six by 24. So one to six magnification uh, to t by 24 as far as the objective. It's those ones with a really small objective. It's a 30 millimeter tube. I'll show you which mount it's gonna go on here. It is a first focal plane. Every scope I have is a first focal plane except a couple of rim fires that, from Nikon that I could care less about. And nothing against uh, second focal plane scopes, but for what I need and how I train, I prefer first focal plane. So this is it. I have never seen this scope before. Not just the scope, but not just the one in the box. I'm talking about this scope until earlier today. So I just recently left the range with a friend of mine, uh, showing him some stuff because we gotta go shoot again tomorrow on Saturday for work. So I'm gonna be a line coach and stuff like that for him. But I wanted to make sure he was down. And while we were walking in the store at my local gun stop shop, I'm not gonna name them, um, not for anything bad, but they had a normal price. So right now, if I was to go on to primaryarms.com and look at this very scope, rightfully so, it's priced as it should. It is $3.99. But because I'm still active duty, I have a certain login to Primary Arms where I get it cheaper than most people. So I get it for $3.59 or $3.60. And then they had a save big sale and a 24 hour sale, flash sale. So I actually got this scope for $315 or $316.79. And I, I mean, of course, once you add taxes and stuff like that, taxes and shipping or whatever it was, I think I paid maybe $338. So I paid less money than the advertised price and the discount price for being law enforcement military because I got discount on top of a discount and free shipping with their optics for most of this stuff so i am very happy to say i am the new owner of this first generation three scope so i just took the top off of the box um, no one's interested in seeing that this is what's inside the box um so the same thing sl right the silver the silver lining right or the silver uh that's probably what the sl stands for silver um it comes with the warranty, lifetime warranty, great. Manufacturer's part number. Now, of course, a lot of companies may say, hey, look, a lot of these companies have the same scope. They have non-disclosure agreements of who really makes it. I don't know how all that stuff really works. I'm fine with it. Um, it talks about this right here, right? The first focal plane, everything about this. I also had the Bushnell 1 to 24 PCL throwdown uh, BTR. AR optics and stuff like that. I like this little booklet. I'm definitely going to have to read it at some point. Uh, talk about establishing a zero. All that stuff I know, but that's a completely different topic. Uh, what's in the box itself? A scope. <laughs> in a plastic bag. Literally a scope, a little cloth to clean it. And that's it. Now, where you actually, a lot of people don't understand when you buy stuff like this, the scope itself costs whatever it was, but you still have to put rings on it, a mount, some sort, and that can run you a couple hundred dollars too, depends on the brand. So, this one here, I like it. This looks very different than what I'm used to. Um, I'm pretty sure these are just like, yeah, like little crappy uh, uh, elevation and windage like caps, which is fine. That's totally fine. It doesn't need to be anything crazy fancy or anything like that. I'm just used to that. Oh, dang, they already have uh, lens hoods, pop up lens hoods on them. Very nice. Okay. A 
looking at myself through a scope like that, very different. As I stated, I believe this is a 30 millimeter tube and what it's gonna be going on is a 5.56 rifle. The 5.56 rifle, I used to have the Bushnell AR Optics one to four. This guy right here, this is the one that my children first shot. This one will now house this. All right, so this will be on here. Now, why I'm making this video, I went shooting at the range earlier. I wanted to go ahead and cite this in, but I wanted to do an unboxing slash my initial review and talk about the price point as to why somebody like myself will actually buy a scope like this. So back here, you will see I have two rifles, one of them with the $4,000 magazine and that AR-10 never been shot yet, 308 caliber, uh, all that stuff. So I'll be showing you real fast. Hey yo. All right, so this right here is a 308. This also has a primary arm scope. So this is the four to 14 by 44 first focal plane uh, scope from Primary Arms. This was my very first scope ever. Don't worry about that. I'll tighten that later. This was my very first scope ever that was first focal plane, um, or I would say which was an intro to serious level scope. Love it. I think I've taken this out to 780 yards. Um, it's the furthest. But if you have a good visual and you, you recognize this, you'll know that this is the American defense mount, right? So I'm probably going to put this mount on this lower or this upper. So this mount, this gun with this scope. I will then place the primary arms back on my Remington 700 that has the sniper chassis with the 30 millimeter rings next door in the other room. So, let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, I'm back. I just swapped out the scope on that rifle right there that you can see, right? Not the one with the $4,000 magazine. That is a legit $4,000 magazine. So, here it is. All right, so this is the, once again, ACSS Raptor 1 to 6 by 24 30 millimeter tube. First focal plane reticle illuminated with the, um, you know, like bullet drop compensation for 5.56 and 308. So this is my gun, very similar to the last one with an upgraded scope that gives me a little bit more magnification than the previous version. Um, I definitely, definitely like this thing. Um, I was looking at it earlier. It's not as tight. I still didn't laser bore sight this. I still didn't do any of the stuff I would normally do before I go actually operational. I'm going to take it to the range and get it completely sighted in tomorrow. But this is the visual. This is the look. This is the American defense mount, which I absolutely love. I do love the clearance um, of the mount itself. I love how quick it's got one cantilever on the side. So if I still wanted to run irons, which I'm probably going to put some back on here, um, just from overall marksmanship, I still like to shoot iron sights. Um, I can just with the flick over here, take it off completely and uh, just roll with it. And that'd be the end of it. So it's only got one similar to how EOTechs only have one um, part for the pick rail and just call it good. There it is, lock it in place, and it should be good to go. Hopefully it can hold zero. So that is my newest optic that I have. Uh, time to upgrade from the one to four to get a one to six. I know, uh, what is it? Hold on a second. John Lovell from Warrior Pipe, Warrior Pipe, Poet, got Warrior Pipe. Warrior Poet Society just put out a video the other day clowning one to fours. So that's all I got. Um, so I think he had the EOTech or ACOG, whoever made it, Voodoo, I don't know who made it, but they had a 1 to 10. They look very similar. Primary Arms also has a 1 to 8 scope, very similar to it. 
which once again punches out two more times on magnification. So either way, that's my quick video for the day. And yes, I'll go ahead and show you just so you want to know what does a $4,000 magazine actually look like? Like this. All right. This is what a $4,000 magazine actually looks like. Uh, very functional, right? As you can see, um, it is definitely a $4,000 magazine. And this isn't me being boastful about anything. It just so happens to actually have a lot of money in it. All right, so that's actually $4,000 in hundreds. Um, I thought it was stupid and funny at the same time. Nope. So that has to be my most expensive gun part that I've ever built. I asked that question the other day, asking everybody what was it. So far, it is this bolt carrier from Geisley. But it has recently been surpassed by a $4,000 magazine with no bullets. So either way, that's my video for the day. Hope you like it. I will get some footage with this very soon. I will cite it in tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna get any footage of that. I'm going to a normal gun range. Not that I need to be running and gunning and doing this stuff, but I'd rather at least um, get some better footage. I might still take it to the range and record that whole whole process, but I will bore sight it prior to, and uh, I might film that process too. Either way, it's PH Darren, and I'm out. Peace.